close your eyes and keep track of the breath. We're training the mind, but you can't focus straight on the mind right away. You have to give it something to focus on. So the breath is right here. It's the nearest thing in the body to your mind, the nearest thing in your awareness. And of the various elements in the body, it's the one that's easiest to adjust. You can have long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. So try to see what kind of breathing feels good right now. Think of the breath as a whole body process, all the way through the nerves, all the way through the blood vessels, out to the pores of the skin. When you breathe in, the whole body is breathing in. When you breathe out, the whole body is breathing out. When you give the mind a good place to stay like this, then it's easier to look after your treasures inside. We have wealth outside, but there's also wealth inside. And all too often our inner wealth gets ignored. But of the two kinds of wealth, it's the, the more important. Because it lasts not only for this lifetime, but on into future lifetimes. Whereas the wealth of the world is something you have to give up at the gate when you leave this life. But you can take with you the good qualities you've developed inside. Otherwise, if you don't have good qualities, you take bad qualities with you. So which do you want? It's like packing your luggage. What kind of things do you want in your luggage? Do you want treasures or do you want garbage? You want treasures. So you look after your mind. You develop good qualities like virtue, a sense of shame, a sense of compunction, conviction. You learn the Dharma. You're generous and you're wise. These are treasures in the mind. And they're best developed by getting the mind really still and solidly established here in the present moment. That way it's easier to develop your riches. And then when your riches are developed, you have a good safe place to stay. Keep them. Because your mind is leaking out your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. When you have a leaky mind, it's like having a pocket with lots of holes. You put your money in the pocket and it goes out. And you can't say the problem is with the money, the problem is with the pocket. So make sure that the pocket of the mind is well sewed and it's secure. That way you have a good solid foundation for developing wealth and a good place to keep it. So the will survey, your advantage is here and on into the future. So focus on developing this kind of wealth. The wealth of the world comes and goes. Sometimes it's from our own stupidity that it goes, sometimes it's because of forces beyond our control. But the wealth of the mind is something that you can control, and you lose it only when you decide to throw it away. So do your best to develop it and keep it well. That will be for your long-term welfare and happiness.